Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Donna Man. Good to have you here. Welcome, everybody. It's good to have you all back for the second part of our replay through of Donna Man with the update coming. For more combat, our village has grown to be much stronger. Uh, just a word to note, uh, my game after I completed last time, uh, I made a manual save and it didn't save, so I had to go back to an auto save, which is just before the end of the previous episode. So a few things are different just because I had to rebuild them in our totem pole hasn't yet been built over here, but our people should work on that pretty soon. In fact, we'll make that a high priority for this year. We've got 20 people living in the city. We've got uh, 11 fish ready to go, 9 dry fish, and some cured meat from the winter as it is now spring. We've unlocked a lot of milestones, too, so we are making some good progress here. We just need to work on farming, animal domestication, uh, religion, and a few other things that come now in the Mesolithic and the Neolithic eras that are waiting in front of us. we got pottery unlocked. Which is interesting because you can't actually make any uh, pots in the game. There's no clay pit, there's no uh, kiln or anything like that. So pottery is just kind of an automatic thing. But it is required for well digging and it brings people water. So I guess it's kind of an automatic complementary thing. Next we can research archery and some basic grain processing so we can work a little bit more on our uh, scavenging. But eventually we can do farming when we reach the Neolithic era. So not too much to do in the Mesolithic era aside from what... It's very important, the sledge making, and that's going to bring us a lot of good food because we can go hunt off in a distance. Somebody can load up a, you know, we can go over here, attack this bear, bring all the meat back on a sledge, and it's going to be a good idea. Sled? Sledge? I think, I guess, actually, I don't know what they call it. What do they call it here? Yeah, sledge making. So, anyway, let's go ahead and continue here. we got to build some walls and build our nation to even be more powerful. Look at this. This is awesome. I guess with this time, we've got, you know, quite a, quite a big place. We've got 21 population, and I don't really want to expand too much more than this because it's going to really gobble up a lot of our food. So we need to be cautious about our expansion. I think we really need to m worry about farming before we go and do anything else, unless I see like a woolly mammoth nearby. This playthrough, I have not seen any woolly mammoth. The biggest that we've seen so far has been like a uh, giant um, woolly, ma uh, woolly rhino, and that's been good so far. Where are some animals over here? Maybe we should go hunting off in the distance. I'll assign some hunters to this uh, area out here and see what we can do. We'll try three. Okay, let's take a look at our workload and work on optimization. Now that we're a little further into the game, we can worry about that a little bit more. Looks like uh, we got 15 people performing tasks for unproductive, and two of them are... I think a couple of them might be children. I don't know if it shows them or not. Uh, workload is 38%, so at least nobody's overloaded. Let's go ahead and speed up time there as everybody's getting started for the spring. And you'll see people go out fishing, out hunting gathering and we're trying to do a little bit of everything so that way we can bring in the most important thing which is knowledge points this time around we need to gain seven knowledge points per research then it increases i think to uh, i think it goes up by two so it started at five then it'll go seven then i think it goes maybe maybe it goes to ten when you reach the neolithic era i'm not sure but research is going to get a lot slower but the technology that we research is going to get a lot more important and we'll have a lot bigger payoff by doing this all right, let's see what's going on around us. Let's go into that primal pi primal rage mode, the primal vision, which allows us to see around. Looks like there's a woolly mammoth over there. That's a long distance away. And our people are proceeding into the woods to go hunting, where there seems to be a lot of... Uh, you can see them right there. Ooh, they're already in pursuit of an animal. Oh, very good. Yeah, it looks like... They oh, they've hunted our first uh, our first moose. A uh, megaloros. I don't even know. How you <laughs> it's a giant moose, basically. But that's cool. All right, the first thing I think we want to get started with is perhaps maybe, well, if we do stone polishing, that'll give us a flint knife and sickles, so that's good for farming and for hunting. But I think the sledge is going to be our most important thing, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and get started with some tanning and whatnot to make the sledge now. All right, let's go back. Now let's see what exactly is needed to make a sledge. Oh, it actually doesn't need any tanning. It just needs dried... Or maybe that is... Actually, I think that is tan, yes. These kind of look like a dull yellow color, but tanning looks like a bright yellow, so that is confirmed. All right, let's get somebody to work on tannery. So essentially, that just takes tannin and, uh, and uh, dried skin in order to make some basic leather. So let's put that next to our uh, little storage hut, so we'll have somebody work on that. So we'll get to sledges then in a little bit. We have no flint. Okay, let's continue to go mining. We're making quite a bit of tools out of uh, flint and everything, so we've uh, gathered up pretty much all the flint that was around us, but we'll have to go find some more. In fact, I should 
do a little scan. The coolest thing to do in this game, or one of the easiest things you can do, is make like a giant circle, and you can search for things, boom, and it'll be highlighted. So if you miss something in the trees, that makes it a lot easier. I'll have uh, two people. Actually, let's make it three. Gather flint. Flint, very, very important for basic weapons. Most important thing until you reach... Um, oh, wow. Who's this? Oh, this is the trader. He's coming over now. Flint is the most important thing you can get uh, until you reach metal age, like, for example, copper, bronze, that type of thing. Now, let's speed up time a little bit. Let's see if we can do some trades. We've got plenty of tools. Tools are the best thing to trade with, I think. Especially, like, spears, for example. So we want to make sure we keep making some of that stuff. And we're making tools continuously. Let's speed up to four. Where's that trader? Did he get... Did he get lost? Huh. Oh, there he is. Wow, he's just taking a very long time to get here. Still taking a while to build our totem pole, too. I don't know why. Oh, we need a log for that. That's why. Okay. Let's see. What do you got here, sir? All right. Let's do some training. Or trading. Well, we could train in archery, but that's going to be expensive. He'll train us to do stuff. But I don't need any of that. Though he does have leather, so that'll help us to get at least one sledge. So let's try... Leather is probably going to be the most important thing to get us started. Let's try at least four pieces, which is quite spendy, but we've got a few axes uh, ready to go. And we got some stones. Stone are great. Stones like change. You should always have some stone in your camp, just in case you get an odd number to trade with. That's not like a five, so that makes it a little easier. There we go. All right, so now we've got some uh, leather, so we can make some uh, sledges. And I think people can also bring construction materials on those, too. So they're very helpful. And I think those are under... Oh, yeah, transportation. So it takes three and two. So we have uh, four leather. So let's put down two of those. Someone will start constructing that. Now let's authorize the uh, cutting down of a tree. So that way we can build that totem. And we can actually start doing a little logging to clear out some space around the camp. But uh, I don't want to do too much because we do want to keep some trees around us for tannin and such. So maybe we'll cut down some trees near the river. Just to make it a little easier to see if animals are there or whatnot. Okay. Let's go spy on some more flint. we got to find some more of that. There's got to be some more around here. There's a nice little pile right there. And we are, ma we are max population. We're going to stay here on max population for a little while. I don't want to build any more homes. That's quite a lot of people to feed 21 with no reliable source like farming. Right now we're just hunter-gatherer and that's a little dangerous for more than 21 people. They are bringing back quite a bit of food though. That is epic. Our people are also bringing back water from the uh, from the river here so that's why it's really good to start near a body of water. In fact in this game every time you start you're near a body of water. Good! One of the sledges is ready so people can eventually pull those around. Cool thing in this game you can eventually get donkeys and horses in order to tow things around, so that's quite quite advanced technology there coming up for us. Alright, the totem is complete, the tanner is done too, you can hear uh, trees being cut down. We'll need to make an area to store logs now, so let's do that. Uh, that's going to be under storage and under wood pile. So we're gathering logs right now. Uh, I've only indicated this area for sticks. A cool thing in this game too is that you can filter by what you want to store here, so I'm going to have one for uh, flint, one for stone, and that should be good. I love how easy the wood piles to make. It literally is just four sticks in a corner. That's it. Ooh, wild horse. Someone was trying to chase that down. Well, good luck on that. All right, we're almost to seven for yet another research on lock. So I think we'll go for... I think maybe we'll go for stone polishing. That allows us to do some underground mining. And that actually gets us started with, I think, mining copper for the next level. Maybe. No, uh, maybe not. Copper Age is probably the first time that we actually get to use any sort of metal. Alright, we are here. We've unlocked it. I'm going to go with uh, maybe grain processing. Nah, let's go with... Uh, oh, jeez, I don't know which one to get. Well, this... Mm, I think I'll go with grain processing. Yes. They're all needed anyway, so it's not like there's really any benefit to doing one before the other if you can just do one. The reason I did, did that, too, is there's Emmer right here. There's a lot of grain just sitting nearby us. <laughs> Little uh, cave lion. Just I love how people just kind of casually walk by the animals. If they're not aggro, it's just like, oh, hey, what's up? Okay, good. So the tanneries are ready to go. I think they actually produce continuously 
leather, so we need to watch that. We, we still need dry skin in this game to repair our homes and to make certain items, but we also need leather. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually turn these off automatic production, and I'm just going to make two each for leather, so we can continue to make more sledges. Each sledge takes two, so we should be able to make two more of those. And they're quite useful, So and I think they also wear out and can't be re uh, repaired, so they can only be replaced. So let's build two more of those, and they'll build them whenever. Doesn't matter. Ooh, looks like the storage tent is getting quite full, too. Alright. I'll have to be cautious about that. 20 food in camp. Good. And our hunting area around the camp has gone quite well. They've brought back quite a bit of meat from animals that have wandered into our area. Okay. Wow, it's storming out. I don't know if it's like a real storm. Let's go for some new production. Ah, oh, mortar. That's how we can crush grain into flour. So we can actually make bread now. Whoa, it is storming like crazy out there. Alright, let's make a couple of those. So a pestle and mortar from the emmer here and in anywhere else that we find it. There's also some berries over here too, but they don't last as long. They're very good to eat during the spring and summer months. And then uh, fall they start to decay and you're going to want to rely on grains. So let's see what we can do next. Okay, so we're building two of those. People are... Uh, Oh, it looks like even the dogs are... Wow, we got a lot of dogs. It's cool how they just kind of randomly walk into your camp and then you're just friends now. Okay, let's keep mining this area. Get rid of the rest of that flint there. And we need to find if there's any more flint around the camp. So let's see what color the flint is. That is a kind of a light blue color. And I don't think there's any flint directly near us. That might actually be our only deposit for flint on that side. Here's some more over here. So let's authorize somebody to go mining over there, too. Okay. Um, so another thing we can start doing is uh, mining out those uh, megaliths. So that way we can make a monolith. But um, we're also very limited on our... Oh, we need to actually research that. But we're very limited on our people, too. So we want to stay fully so uh, Yes, fully focused. Fully focused on what we're doing. It's been a long day, but I've really wanted to play Donna Man, so I'm really happy everybody's back and showing their support like crazy. If you're excited to see more, make me uh, make me happy and let me know you want to see more. You guys are awesome. This game is going to be cool. I can't wait until we get to combat, build some walls and some towers, and start getting some raiders. It's going to be really cool and exciting to fend off attacks. And I think what we want to do is build a city here. Maybe we'll do like a little outpost here and some farming. And I do want to build multiple settlements in this game. Rather than just like one big one, we will do a big one, but eventually I want to try to expand and see what happens if we build over here and try to uh, shift supplies. It might not work, but maybe we can build multiple small cities and make kind of like a network of, of trade instead of one giant settlement, which is pretty cool, but it might be cool to make multiple medium to large size ones too. All right. Everybody's cutting down trees. I can hear them being cut down over there. Nice. People are bringing back logs. Oh, yeah. We gather some points for that. Skins outfits just sitting there. Should probably build myself another uh, another storage tent. The problem about building additional buildings here, though, and what I'm cautious about is dry skin. We need that for repairs. Otherwise, these buildings will fall into disrepair, and that's no good. Is that the trader coming through? No, that's somebody hauling some meat. Wow, look at that steak. That is a huge steak. Wow. All right, let's see. What do we got here? A couple animals over there. Oh, we should probably turn this into a hunting area. Looks like a lot of animals like to hang out over here. And we'll put maybe three people on that. <clears throat> All right, so a few more points to repair. Oh, it looks like uh, we can actually do some harvesting over here now. Oh, and it looks like they're already working it. Perfect. Go, Mango. Awesome. So we're going to bring back some uh, grain for the first time. It could be turned into flour. And then we can make emmer bread, which lasts very good th through the winter. We're very advanced right now for how early this is. We've already got bread. We've already got transportation. The Raptorians are kicking butt. Very good. Also, it looks like they just store sticks in their home just in case they need them for repair. That's kind of cool. We got plenty of sticks though. Also the fires re require those too, so we need to make sure we've got plenty of sticks and the leather or rather dried skin. Three raw skin. Yep, we're doing good. And we should be able to build more more sledges. Looks like we built one. 
Very helpful for bringing uh, meat back from a far distance in one trip. So it really helps production. All right, so the goal here today is to try to unlock the remaining technologies for Mesolithic because then what awaits us next is serial domestication. And when we start farming, it becomes a whole new game. Right now, it's just kind of a survival simulator. But once we've got all of that stuff unlocked, man, it becomes a whole different game. All right. Wow, the rain is beautiful. I, I just I can't get over the uh, beautiful... Um, you know, how things change like that throughout the, the year. Kind of the weather change is nice. Alright, looks like we need some winter clothes. We'll make a few of those. I turned off automatic production, so we just need one. That'll be a quick build before winter. Just beautiful looking at this thing in fall. I honestly wish we could go all the way up to, uh, you know, like, uh, past the Bronze Age, through the Middle Ages to uh, modern times. It would be amazing to see... This uh, thing go into, like, you know, the 1600s, 1700s, see gunpowder. It's the perfect game for it. It is called Dawn of Man, but it is uh, the perfect game for, like, the uh, one of those games that you want to see go from caveman all the way up to flying cars. Maybe not quite flying cars, but at least to see maybe 1900 would be amazing. All right, got to find out things to do for more points. We need to unlock some more of these um, milestones. Looks like we won't be getting any of those for a while. Uh, let's take a look at workloads very light too, despite all of our tasks, which is good. Don't want everybody to be overloaded. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got for knowledge unlocks. That'll help us. Taking a look at uh, text. No, it was uh, knowledge progress. There we go. So more hunting. We'll unlock some more stuff. If we kill raiders, we'll get some stuff too. Uh, if we build three storage tents, we get additional points. Don't want to build too many of those, though. If I build another skin dryer, we'll be good. So let's build another skin dryer and another mortar, just to get those, like, free points. So let's build another skin dryer. Where is that? Production? Okay. And another mortar. Oh, we can build haystacks, too. I guess they can bring back hay as a byproduct from grabbing the emmer, which is good for animals for the winter. Because that's the only thing they can eat aside from some cereals, but they'll take the hay first. Let's just build one of those somewhere. Maybe we can use it to store it if we import it. Actually, eventually homes are built with hay too, so it might not be a bad idea to start gathering that now. Good, so we got knowledge from that. Good, so some free knowledge points. Excellent. Go back and try some more. Let's see. If we build some more tents, we get that. Totems. Ah, if we build another sledge. Okay, let's build a sledge. And maybe two more storage tents. Though Those are some big buildings. Alright, let's do that. So what do we want to build? A sledge? Storage tents. Ooh, these are expensive. But I'd rather have more storage than uh, people right now. I know, I'm being antisocial. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look back at uh, tasks. Knowledge, that's where we want to go. So just hunting more animals like mammoths and such. We'll get more research. That's just going to have to come at random. What else can we do? Oh, can I build a well? It did say that we... I don't think we can build a well just yet. Mm, nope. I wonder if I build another tannery if we get another point. So now is where we're trying to scrape the bottom of the barrel just to get to the next uh, level. So we got to kind of do whatever we, we can to get to the next uh, territory. Let's go ahead and uh, unlock archery for trading. We can make some bow and arrow now. I'm just going to make a whole category of them because I know they're very valuable. And they require dry skin. So we actually should be drying more skin out. We have four raw skin and there's only two on the rack. Oh, three. Okay. All right, let's see here. We can trade. Oh, I might want to go. Oh, no, no leather. No leather. Uh, let's see. We got additional food. 
bread. I'm going to take your grain and your pulses, which seems to be like early peas or something. Early something. Early veggies. Eat your, veggie, uh, eat your veggies, kids. Very, very important. Very important. Very important. Let's trade for two flint picks for now. Oh, they're only worth five? Oh, but the axes are worth more. All right, well, we don't have too many people mining, so let's go with that. We'll just trade for some early food, and then our people will have some alternative food source for the spring. Okay, another winter is here. So our people will probably be eating the meat and such first. Actually, that might they might actually eat the vegetables. Maybe. We'll see. Storage tents are going up, taking a lot of our supply. We need to do some sort of mass hunt now. We need to find a... Uh, what we really need is just a big animal to wander through. I just don't think we're going to see a woolly mammoth at all. It's pretty rare to see those, it seems. Don't see them anywhere. Yeah, I'm not seeing really any big animals. All right, well, winter is here. It's okay. Still need to grab some more hides, though, so we do need to find animals. So maybe some... Uh, Buffalo or something will walk over here. Bison. And we will get lucky. Okay, how are we doing with extra storage? Oh, I guess it was really needed. Good, I'm glad we did that. Okay, what's another milestone we can do? Let's see, another... Uh, we can build a few more totems. And a few more homes. So let's do that. Alright, let's build. We got plenty of food now to support our people. So seven. Ah, but we really don't have the building materials for this, do we? We've only got three leather. Okay, let's build the totems instead. So we have one, two, three, Alright, eventually we will probably get rid of these totems and uh, build like a large spiritual building. But right now everything's just to unlock stuff. Alright, let's send some more people on a hunt. Looks like we are not using most of our workforce. So let's try to bring in more fish. Uh oh. Cave lions attacking. Oh, kick its ass! Get out there, Betty. Jesus. All right, Betty's down. Aza. Oh, my goodness. Can we get some maps down below in the comment section for Aza? She got ambushed by a lion. Oh, my goodness. All right, that's over. All right, let's start building some more hunting grounds. Try to bring back a lot more. We really need skins now is what we need. I guess we'll put a hunting area there. And we'll try to put another one around somewhere. I think we'll try to put one... Maybe over here. Even if there's one person there, it's better than zero. Now that we have some better weapons, especially uh, bow and arrow, our people are way more capable of killing an animal at a distance. And uh, getting... You know, shooting it a couple of times before it's able to get too far away. And possibly bring it down. So let's continue building a um, couple of fishing tools. Those actually seem to bring in a lot of money to the harpoons. They're very easy to make with the bones that we have. And we'll, pre we'll probably bring in some more now that it's springtime. Alright, well we have a lot of food, but I'm nervous. Food is going to be quite a scarcity now. Oh, there's a whole pack of... Hold on a second. We got we got something going on here. Oh, a new human has joined. Excellent. Come on, kids. Grab your weapons. We're going hunting. We'll leave the babies alone. There's another one there. I can see it. There's another one there somewhere. There he is. Oh, good. We've hunted wild donkeys. All right, one more, and then we're done with the... Oh, actually, two more. And then we're done with the research here. Let's speed up time and watch our people hunt. Good job. We got two of them. That was easy.
And let's get the lion just for fun. Oh, he's running. Oh. Oh, he's coming back. Cool thing is, is the animals won't die when they're in the river. He'll actually come to the other side and then die. So that way you can actually harvest them. So the developers did a good job of making sure that animals just, yeah. <laughs> that they just like, burp. All right, go grab those animals. Perfect. So now we've got plenty of skin to continue maintenance on our homes. Look at that. We went up to 14, 17 raw skins. Good. 19. Boy, it keeps getting higher. So now we can do all of our maintenance needed. Let's go back to uh, pulse processing. Actually, that's strange. Pulses need processing. That's why we weren't able to eat them. Now, oh, another, oh, Kakarok has died of old age. All right, let's get some Fs down below in the comment section. That's, that's strange. Pulse processing. I didn't know they needed to be processed. Maybe it's uh, how to make a nice split pea soup. That's probably what it is. It's a secret recipe from Kakarok's mom. She's a very talented cook. Okay, so let's see. We've got uh, 17 raw skins being mostly made into leather for some of these things. Let's actually make some more. Uh, we know we need four per... Oh, no, it's two per sled. So let's make two more sleds. And then one more there and one more there. Perfect. So with all that, that'll give us additional sleds. Or sledges. Oh, good. And the totems are going up. They, these are very valuable, these sledges, so I'm going to keep making those, especially for when we have to go hunting. Plus, we're probably going to see some break here soon. So I'm going to make three. And we actually have hay in storage from that previous harvest. Excellent. So every time... This grows naturally over here. So every time we harvest it, we'll gather some hay, and that'll help us to build some initial buildings that way. Uh-oh, a storm is brewing in. One last thing to research, and then we're out of the Mesolithic Era, or at least we're done here, then we need to get 15. So we still need to gather another 7 plus 15, or, well, 6, I guess, because we have 1. So 6 plus 15. So it's still going to be a long way to go, so let's keep looking at what we could do for knowledge. Just got to get uh, lucky by having a wolf or something. Oh, we have 5 domesticated animals for the, uh, uh, for the dogs. 7, 8, 9, 10. We only get one knowledge point for having additional houses. And we're not even using all of our labor force now. Although everybody is being kept alive through fishing, mostly, for food. But the most important thing is hunting, and I just don't see the animals around to build the, uh... Well, to worry about maintenance for the homes. Home maintenance is very important, kids. Very important. Increases the uh, resale value of your home, and also raises the desirability of the neighborhood. So that's really what we're worried about, is a long-term resale value on our home. Apparently. Alright, what do we got going on? Jeez, I just don't see really anything. Oh, the trader's here, though. That's good. Alright, what do you got for us? Stone polishing for 150. That seems like it's going to be a good thing. Kind of running low on research points. What can we trade for that? 100. 200. And 10. I'm going to do it. Don't do it, Raptor. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. No. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. So now we, can, we only have to save to get 15 to get to the Neolithic era. That's a good way to play this, too. You can bypass some of the things like that. You know, you can. it helps you to save points and get to the next area faster. Plus, it'll allow us to get a faster, you know, build town because we can have more food. So we won't have to worry about some other things as much. Okay, let's make sure we're making some more tools. Well, we actually have sickles now. And buy faces through our, uh, our knives, I guess, through our research. Mm -mm, we're kind of out of sticks. Go gather some more. Oh, there's a nice spot over here. Let's put four people on that one, get that job done quick. And we're going to be going through a lot of sticks with all the weapons we're about to make. 
Our people were quick. I'm impressed. Okay, let's go back over to the flint mine. Ask for those to be harvested again. Oop, somebody wandered into our territory. It'd be cool if we could set up little traps for uh, rabbits and small game, but that really doesn't do much to feed the hole. Maybe one person for a day. So let's see. Yep, so I only see that one flint mine, so we'll be okay for a while. We will need more flint, though, right away. Kind of cool to see everything function. One lesson I learned, too, in our previous playthrough is that it is important to have multiple hearths like that. Because some food needs to be cooked outside the home. Something can ju some things can just be brought right from the... Uh, from the storage tent to the uh, home, but sometimes they have to cook it depending on what it might be. Ari has died of old age too. Okay, we got two more spaces. One person dying in a cave lion attack. The other one just of old age. So we'll see some more people move in soon. And we are out of skins to make weapons again. Let's continue to make uh, knives are going to be important too for hunting. All right, well, hopefully an animal will drop by soon. I see one there. There's an option to see all of the work areas, and I forgot where that is. Is it primal vision? There's a way to see where everything is. Some people have no warm clothing. Oh, boy. Some of it needs maintenance. Actually, we're only missing one again. Alright, let me... I know we have a hunting area here already. I'm going to make one down here. And we're going to make it big. I don't want no game getting away. Uh, let's see, we're missing more logs, so let's cut some trees down. There we go. And that'll uh, give us another research point. So we're already 10 away from going to the next era. Now this beginning uh, portion, the funny thing is we could this whole town is probably going to end up getting deleted once we've upgraded our uh, buildings. In fact, it might be a better idea for us to build over here on this, clear out this area, start building here, and then put our farm on this side because there's much more flat land over here. So we can do a little switcheroo and build our main camp here, and then build a, a bridge across the other side, and then go over there. So building bridges will be good. That, that way our people don't have to swim across, and can actually take um, stuff to the other side. Alright, we're at seven research points now. Very good. Seems like we still need more. Oh, this was supposed to be for logs only. It's nice to have one of each. Alright, more flint mining going on. They're bringing it in as quickly as they can. Right now we've only got one flint. It is nice how a knife can be made just by taking flint and stick and not having to make like a biface first and attaching a stick to it. Alright, Trader's here. Hello, Trader Joe. How you doing? Leather. Oh, I need some more dried skin, my man. But let's take a couple of flint. And uh, I don't know about the flour. I think we're okay on food. So let's take... Uh, Ready a couple of stones. Oh, we've certainly got a lot of food and everything else. We just need uh, skins. That's the most important thing. Leather, not so much. Can build one more. Uh, actually, I, I don't think leather is required for the bow. I think it's dried skin. So I think we're good there. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's dried skin for the bow. So we're good. All right, hopefully we keep seeing some big hunts. Please let a woolly mammoth walk around. I need I need some big game. They made them a lot more rare, I think, to make them work. So, oh, hello, there they are. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, bear attack. Bear, leave us alone. Where's the bear? Hold on. 
Okay, I guess he was attacking, but then he decided, nah, I'm good. All right, boys, it is time for the biggest thing in the game, a woolly mammoth hunt. We were able to find some, and they're coming right into town. Beautiful. That's going to be like 300 leather. Get half the, uh, half the team to go over there. Oh, this is going to be a big hunt. We're going to go ahead and call this the Helen Hunt. That's right. All right, here we go. Children cannot perform tasks to hunt? Those are all kids? Oh, they look like adults to me. Where's everybody in the camp? I think I've selected everyone. I need everyone going out. Let's get this one first. We'll go for, for this one. Let's speed up time. Cave bear attack. I don't have time for this crap. Hey! Bangor. Dude, that was a hit and run. Grab his stuff. Head back to base. Damn, bears. I'm busy. All right, we'll have a few more people join us so this isn't the end of the world. We're fine. We're fine, trust me. All right, so we got uh, all these people coming now. Come on, boys. We got to go get that animal. Go for this one. We're going to go for launch. We just need our people to get across the river first. These guys are getting further and further away. Luckily, we have plenty of sledges. All right, you can see our people heading up along the mountain. There we go. All in single file. This one's for uh, Marin. Marin was killed by a cave bear. No. Guys, we can get a couple Fs down below in the uh, comment section. Appreciate that, guys. Our people are all spread out like crazy. Gather here before we before we start the hunt. I need everybody together. I know you're all tired. Let's fight. Yeah! The ultimate battle begins. Sweet. Where'd the other one run to? Get that one as well. And then everybody can head back to base. Boy, we've like lost a lot of people to... Uh, Oh, yeah, here we go. Another battle. There we go. Boy, we lost a lot of people to, like, uh... Minor problems, like, uh... Cave bears and stuff. This one, I pushed our people a little too far. These were quite far away, but that's okay. It will be, uh... It will be warmer soon. Wow. This person contracted and died of a disease within seconds. Ooh, it's a tough year for our people. Tough year. All right, we need to get all of these uh, animals together and uh, basically do a bunch of, uh, like, we got to get rid of all, you know, bring all the uh, the stuff back. All the, fo the food has to be brought back on the sledges. So hopefully some people go out and do that. All right, everyone, return home for dinner. We'll go pick that up later. Some people be hungry. Look at all that meat we're bringing back. And 15 raw skins. Good. All right, that's probably going to be the last time that we go out on a crazy hunt like that. I had to do it, though. You guys wanted to see it. I got to show it off. It's cool when you can hunt mammoth. It's just unfortunate that they weren't over here. On the other side of the river would have been much easier for us to manage. It's beautiful, though. Look at that. Another winter survi... What? Yep. Oh, wow. We made it through the winter. No bread left, but plenty of vegetables, fish, and meat. Whoa, we went from, like, 21 people to, like, constant bear attacks and stuff. Only one person decided to join us. That's okay. We still have a lot of people kind of... You know, standing around not doing much. So we're okay. We just need to get the research points. That's all. So now we just need... Actually, shouldn't we have gotten research points for attacking mammoths? I hope so. Oh, and a new human was born. Oh, perfect. We're going to be back on our feet in no time. The Raptorians are doing their best. Very good. All right. Let's see. I don't see any other uh, woolly mammoths around. I think we brought all that stuff back. I don't see any of that meat. I might be looking in the wrong... Looking in the wrong pl Oh, there it is. Oh, that... Wait, never mind. That was just the baby. And I think we brought it all back. Good. Wow, there's some flint way out there. Okay, let's do a little more mining for flint. We need some more of that. Looks like we brought some back. That's good. Oh, perfect. Totems have been built. Excellent. We're up to 12 research. Good. Do a little bit more flint sickle. Let's do some more uh, flint spears, too. 
Let's go with four of those. A couple more axes. Some of these are just meant for trade, really. And let's get some clothes. Apparently we have 22. So some people just didn't put on their coat before they went on the woolly mammoth hunt. Ah, perfect. Well, we stretched our line a little thin, but it paid off with all this extra skin that we get now. And I'm going to go ahead and cancel if we have any more bow and arrow. And we do not. All right, very good. Our people are almost ready to go into the next age. The Neolithic age is right around the corner. And yes, now we're up to 13. Beautiful. Random animals are walking in. And we're ga gathering so much different stuff. Grab all those things, boys. People are heading out to uh, grab materials and bring it back. Let's take a look at our workloads again. Uh, let's see. Activity? Performing ta- Everybody's working. Very good. That must mean we got a full workload. Oh, and the trader's here. Let's work on that first. And we got another research point from that. Yes, we can get to the next era. Perfect. All right, I'm going to buy a bunch of flint from you because that's super valuable. And we need a lot of it to make more weapons. And I will trade you... Let's see. What do we got? Lots of spears in storage. Ah, uh, bows are worth a lot. I don't want to trade those, though. I will trade you... I should make some more bone harpoons. Those are useful. Um, they're actually worth seven. All right. I'm missing one. Uh, one stone. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now we can make a lot more weapons. That'll give us a higher trade value later. Oh, I also, I should actually ask for uh, more harpoons. Because we've got, what, how many bones do we have? 34? Yeah, they're quite good, those little harpoons. That way we can stay focused on spears and other things. All right, let's go ahead and enter the Neolithic era. Here we go. We're coming for you, Neo. Matrix unlocked. Fantastic. All right, we can see farming and wall building, fortress making... Uh, bridge building and all sorts of different things guys I will be back in the next episode let me know you want to see more of this show your aggressive support and let me know what other games you want me to play in terms of city building we got depraved we got stone hearth we've got um, just other games coming out soon too and games I plan on playing like for example banished maybe going back and playing that all right everyone I'll see you again soon for more Don of man take care I'll see you next time thanks for watching glory to Raptoria and I'll see you all soon Goodbye, everyone. Today was a great episode. Thanks for watching. Lots of fun.